Tuesday on Home and Family. New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees is here. And TV host Lisa Gibbons visits our home. Here at Hallmark, it's never too early to start thinking about Christmas. So here to show us how to make your summer flowers bloom into Christmas ornaments is Shirley yeah. Bobshaw. Who else? I get the oh, funnest job. Flowers. Yes. Oh, really? I have the you really do. I do. You know, I want to show you, it's been so much fun pressing and drying flowers. Look at this display, all these different beautiful flowers that you can press, and many of them are available right now in the summer. But more fun than pressing them is look at what you can make. We've got ornaments, because we're getting ready for Christmas, yes, right? Yeah. Oh, and it's... just handmade little know, heirlooms. Do you remember being a little girl and picking flowers in the backyard and pressing them in your books, in your mm -hmm. notebooks? Oh, it was like if a boy so gave fun. me a flower, I would like you put would it on my notebooks. Oh, so but you have a new way of doing yeah. this, right? Well, you know, a lot of people, you know, the low-tech way, you get some, uh, some books, some heavy books, yeah. you put the flowers inside, you put a brick on top to press yeah. it, and then you wait for two months for it to dry. But what I discovered lately, and it's so good for me because I do this in mass, is there's a new little gadget here called the microfloor. Oh and it presses your flowers and dries them inside of the microwave oven. That's fascinating. And it does it so instead of, uh, say, six weeks, you, right. you're you ready to craft in 20 minutes. Wow. Like, That's amazing. Sure. What are the easiest flowers, would you say, to press? The easiest flowers are the ones that are, Allie, you can even feel it. They're like papery. Thin. Mm, yeah. They're not mm. thick. You know, yes, you can do daisies with the thick centers, but that's a little more advanced. I want you to have success. So at the beginning, start with like phlox or little calanchoe and mm. all these little evergreens too, mm. you know, little ferns work really beautifully. Okay. All right. So you actually prepared some of these flowers yeah, earlier today, right? So we have a clip of that. Here we go. Yeah, so I have some flocks here, which is really pretty. So the microfloor has these outer uh, tablets, and it has a wool pad and cotton pad. And so what you do is you cut your flowers, make sure that they're not wet, they don't have any dew on them, and then you're going to put them face down on the first plate, on top of the cotton and on top of the wool pad that's going to absorb it. Then you sandwich it with another pad and then the outer plate now these are really, really important because this compresses and keeps the microfloor closed and nice and tight. So I'm gonna give it a burst of energy, oh. about 30 seconds. And you might want to do more than one uh, burst, but I'm gonna check it now to see how it looks. And it's really important to open it carefully because it might stick to the cotton and then you touch it and you feel it to see if it's papery. Now it's not quite, so I took the condensation off with paper and I'm going to throw it back into that microwave for oh another yeah, like maybe 15 seconds a little bit less than the first time and then when it comes out you do the same thing again carefully removing the outer because it might be stuck and I found that this was just the perfect papery consistency look and just gorgeous look at the color retention on that and I have it's it right exactly here the so same beautiful. as if you yeah, did it isn't that something books. okay so let's look Again, the, the baby is revealed. Oh, this is, <laughs> what a great product, Isn't by the this way. gorgeous? I know. Oh, <gasps> see, really that's why you have to be careful. Uh -oh. oh, bye, uh -oh, baby. We lost down. one. Okay, we lost one. we'll get you later. So, so then <laughs> we made these beautiful ornaments Isn't that so pretty? what do we do to make the ornaments? Really simple. Okay, I'm going to let you guys both play. Now, okay. this was made with uh, cornstarch and baking soda and nice. water and makes it a white dough. And we've got this one, too, for you, Allie, if you like. Um, and all you got to do is be very careful. You may want to grab... Uh, the corner of your flower, and then Ali, I'll let you borrow some okay. here, and then you dip it in a, very carefully, lightly, into this is a paper type of glue, and then go ahead and put it on there. You got to be really yeah, careful. Yeah, huh? I'll help you. Okay, you now go. lower it like a crane. Yeah. Yay! We're doing it. It's a delicate little flower. It is. Yeah. That's why you don't want to get too much on there. there you go. And then Ali, if you want to try too, and then sure. what you do is phase two. You will put a very light coat of Mod, mod Podge I can do it. on well, here, it, it to just me. to seal <laughs> it. it. Oh, you want it? Hang on. So, you I'm know what's really fun fingers. is you can use the whole flower as there is, and just kind of like I did right here. You see this one over here on I my feel tree? Like we have to whisper or when we drop you can it. do, you know, a, comp uh, a composition with, you know, the petals or whatever. Is that beautiful? I feel so like pretty. Look how pretty. You have and to then whisper when you put it in the Then you do the Mod Podge over top? Yes. Just very lightly. Because okay. you don't so, want to rip so the flower. But you know what's nice is that you may have graduation flowers. You may have some special occasion. You can go camping with the kids and forage for wildflowers, guys. It's just important to pick them. And as soon as they're fresh, um, keep them in water. Then 
put them out. And they are a bit sure fragile. They, they are a bit fragile. They you are have fragile. to be very careful. I will say this. This, can we show this ornament back yeah, here? you like this, this one, This is huh? so beautiful. This is what we call the composite, where we took the leaves of different uh, flowers to make kind of like a harlequin effect. Isn't that, Isn't that pretty? Else? It's so gorgeous. I feel like this is something I watch a lot of the Bachelorette when viewing parties yeah. with my friends. We could take rose petals and make ornaments at our yes. viewing parties together. Oh my God, go grab them. Uh, okay. Go tell them. <laughs> you put this on our tree over okay. there, and I'm gonna tell our viewers at home that Michael or Microflor, excuse me, is doing a giveaway for us. All you yes. have to do is go to our Facebook page to find out how to enter to win. And you guys stick around because next up, I'm showing you my favorite gadgets in the kitchen that will help you yeah. and your surroundings stay clean. Come on back.